It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets on Monday night primetime. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Brandon Gond and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So here come the Jets to take over. Led at quarterback by a man back to full health in season number 20 now and his second one in New York, and that's Aaron Rodgers. And after an Achilles injury robbed him of playing most of last season, He's hoping this year can set himself up for a possible fairy tale ending in what has been an inevitable Hall of Fame career. We know it won't be easy, but the Jets have great optimism not only for Aaron Rodgers, but for the team. If he plays the full season, they believe they're truly a playoff team. First carry for the Iowa State man, Brees Hall. How oh, what a juke into space! And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a gain of 34. Perfect execution on that inside handoff and then a little will, a little brute strength to move forward after the contact. What do we call that now in today's NFL? Heck, in today's football? Contact balance, right? That's the buzzword, the phrase you hear. A back who can absorb contact, bounce off of it, and keep moving. Just what you said, brute strength, force of will. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. Boy, some big runs here, Charles, already in this first quarter. Yeah, if the lanes are there, go ahead and exploit them. But what I like the most, how decisive he is, putting his foot in the ground and going. Here's Rodgers to throw. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Daquan Jones fighting his way home to get the sack. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Hall want to give up the middle. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes... You got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Here's Rodgers. That is caught. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but it created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. From the 10, first and goal. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hall. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. And hang on here. We've got an injured player, and that's the running back, Brees Hall. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. And 
the ball smack dab on the five yard line here's second and goal now it's Rodgers and he's got it that time the completion goes for four yards and we're set up with a third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Rodgers now on third and goal. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Tyler Conklin from a yard out. And the Jets will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. That was a big throw right there on third and goal. And the defense has to be prepared for you to throw the ball on third and goal. Because really, second down, second and goal, that's your play action time. And you're not sure whether they're going to run it or throw it. Third down, you're usually sure they're probably going to pass it even more impressive that they got it done and on the opening drive of the game. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it ends with a Jet touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. But there aren't too many guys who can do both. And at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 right at the 30. Throwing to start the drive, Allen. And this intercepted on the first play of the game. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. So already trailing, Charles, they opted to try to take a shot on their first play from scrimmage. Obviously, that one didn't pan out. Absolutely not. And how about the momentum that's being created now? You score, you take it away, big return. You've got a chance to go up two touchdowns here early in the game. That'll feel great for their team. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. But just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. On the ground, it's a rookie from Wisconsin. So not a lineman, but the tight end instead this time, drawing the holding call. And more and more of what you're getting with tight ends are guys with much more receiver than blocker. They may be willing, but that might not be their thing. Oftentimes, they'll be the ones getting the penalties. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. To throw, it's Rodgers. And he completes it to Wilson. 
And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Connection named a record. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Two touchdown passes now here in this first quarter for Aaron Rodgers. And the Jets have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Zerline now for the PAT. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that drive, four plays. And all of that was capped off by a Jeremy Rucker touchdown catch. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? So first and 10 now from the 30. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Throwing now is Allen. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Solomon Thomas, they love to see that from him as he slips in for the sack. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Looking to throw, Allen. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Will McDonald gets in there to take him down. Well, partners, the first quarter too early to start talking about needing a comeback. They're down two touchdowns already, and that sack, that disrupts this drive. They need something to go right on offense, and they need it to happen soon. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on the punt for Buffalo. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Jets will take over first and ten.
They begin the drive on the ground with Allen. Fighting his way through contact. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. So the ball moves from their own 41 to the other 41 here for first and 10. They keep it on the ground. Allen again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. To throw is Rodgers. Caught. It's Wilson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Another nice catch there by Garrett Wilson is off to a really nice start in his NFL career. He was Rookie of the Year in 2022, and in 2023, his second 1,000-yard season. He's looking for an even bigger leap this year with Aaron Rodgers as his quarterback throughout the entire campaign. Here's Allen. A oh, great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old-school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Well, that play there was certainly a scouting report special because coverage was all too aware that this close to the end zone, he's going to become a bigger weapon for that offense, and they were there to help force the incompletion. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And he comes back with one complete. And the Jets are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. But they certainly not shied away from throwing the football as they've leaned on their quarterback to start this game. Four straight passes right out of the gate with that last one earning them a new set of downs. Abana Kanda is going backwards here all the way back to the five-yard line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And from the gun, here's a band of Kanda. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Israel Abanacanda. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Jets have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. Now Zerline on and the extra point. It's good, and before you know it, it's 21-0. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but 
the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. That's caught. It's Coleman. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Cook up the gut. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Here's Allen to throw it. And this one nearly picked off. Yeah, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early, but it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen sliding out of the pocket. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Allen from the gun on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 43. 21-0, our score after one. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Timing is crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Over the middle, the catch by Coleman. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Allen now looks to throw. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Khalil Shakir, 39 yards. And the Bills are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Down three scores already. This game was really in danger of getting away from them. They needed a drive like that, especially on the road. Not only to calm themselves, but maybe tamp down the crowd a little bit because everything was against them. As you noted, this game could have gotten away from them very easily, but instead, the calming drive, now they have a little bit more confidence. Okay, we're back in it. All right, we're ready to go. That was impressive. And the defense now needs to reciprocate. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it was all polished off with a Khalil Shakir touchdown catch.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The New York set to take the field. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. They'll start on the ground. Hall. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. All again on second down. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Here now, third and a yard. They'll run with Hall. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now, three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. Taking in left side, it's Wilson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. Throwing now is Rodgers. Going right back to Wilson. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Back to the ground with Hall. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. One thing I do know that offensive linemen like, they like a guy who's carrying the ball that will take what is blocked. Not try and create a big play and maybe take a loss, not try and go where the blocking isn't. But if it's just all that's there and you just put your head and your shoulders down and get that. Ball has it knocked loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Even though he recovered his own fumble, you know how much he hates to put the ball on the ground. He's going to be frustrated with himself. And what do you think the time frame was from the time the ball escaped his grasp to him getting it back? It didn't take that long, right? Right. To him, it probably felt like hours because he's agonizing like, I've got to get this football back. Able to get it done. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Now whistles come in before the snap. Looked like one of the Jets may have moved. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Catch made right side by Wilson. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Well, hang on now, we're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium.
second and 11 now. On play action, Rodgers throwing middle, but it's incomplete. I think the defenders have to feel pretty good, even though the ball was tipped in the air and could have become a big play for the offense. They actually won one because the guy flinging it today, he's having quite the performance. A couple of touchdown passes, almost threw his first interception, but he's throwing it so well that I think Lady Luck was on his side. Yeah, that will be incomplete. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown in their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. Zerline's kick is up and through. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24 to 7. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Running room at the 50. Look out. He might score. He will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Here's Bass now for the extra point. It's up and good, so they claw back into it. 24-14 now. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Jets offense and receiver Garrett Wilson ready to get going again. And seemingly every time they've looked his way in this first half, it has resulted in a big play as borne out by the numbers. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns Rodgers now to throw throwing quickly there but it's incomplete this defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions they know that there's probably another throw coming on third down let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz the offense on third down tonight they've been good three for four thus far this is third and ten now Rodgers and he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. 
this might be their opportunity to get off the field. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Looking back to that first quarter, they struggled, but now here in quarter two, they seem to have some rhythm. And it really shouldn't be a surprise to us because when we were in the production meetings, we asked a few of the players about, hey, what if things get a little rocky early? They all said the exact same thing. We're prepared, so we're confident things will work out. And so far, they have started to do so. Those three words we hear a lot, stay the course. Now Allen. Forced out to his left. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Here's a second and eight. Now Allen. A quick reaction as he catches it off the tip. All right, you and I both know that was a lucky play, but I gotta give him credit. Going up on the tip and catching that one. Stayed with it, made his own luck, didn't he? And, and he used his size there. Had a defensive back mentality to go up and get the ball on the tip, but used his size. I mean, tight ends, going up and getting it, sometimes they can knock people out of the way and finish the play. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. Oh, he shifts past him, and he's gonna have a Bills first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. Now, it doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down, a nice, consistent gain. Allen going to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. In motion, Hollins. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, in on the stop. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. It'll go as a loss of three on the sack, and it brings up third down. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. That is caught. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 31-yard line. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 31. From the gun, it's Allen. This is Coleman with a grab. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And I think he just wanted to get the ball to one of his playmakers to see if they can make something happen, but he ends up throwing into a crowded area. And after the catch, he isn't able to do much with it. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. 
A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And that'll be enough to keep the drive moving forward. Another first down on the pickup of five yards. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. He had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys do not play offense. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. And again, it's Allen. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown. Keon Coleman from 17 yards out. And the Bills have cut it back within a score. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Tyler Bass now for the point after. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told, and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The home team's offense and their wide receiver getting set for this next possession. And it may be time for this defense to start throwing a second defender his way because whatever they've done, it has not worked in this first half. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw, it's Rodgers. And his throw here is incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room.
Here's Allen. Completes it to Coleman. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From the 35, back to work on second and four. To throw, it's Allen. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Concentration, so key on a ball like that. It's hard. I know how difficult it is, but that's a ball you've got to come up with. And instead, a big play is going to slip through their fingers, literally and figuratively. Throwing now is Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now Allen again. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now a second and two. To the air, Allen. Going right back to Knox and again a completion. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 31-yard line. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! We got an excellent first half from the former MVP, Aaron Rodgers. He came out of the gate smoking hot with two first quarter touchdown passes to help steer his guys towards this halftime lead. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Now that should give him a spark. He's across the 40 to the 43. The Bills offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. Well, that return had all the trappings of really good scouting. You could tell that they thought they saw something on tape that they could take advantage of, and they dialed it up at just the right time to give them a great return. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Here's Allen to throw it. His throw incomplete. That ball was tipped in the air, and while it ultimately fell incomplete, it caused a few anxious moments for the guy slinging it, who's had quite a day. 
He knows how to get it into the end zone. He's throwing it really, really well. And maybe Lady Luck is on his side because he avoided his first interception of the contest. Allen. Has his man. It's Shakir. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Motion man is Shakir. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist to the referee, and that means fourth down. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. The kick by Bass is good, and that will tie us at 24-all. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So here's the Jets offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their three-point halftime lead gone now back to a tie game, but Charles, I don't imagine that changes too much for this offense. I would agree. I don't think it changes much at all, whether it's a three-point lead or a tie game. They know they have their work cut out for them, and they were going to run their offense in the same vein. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at about the 32. He'll give it to Hall to start the drive, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Throwing quickly to Wilson. That'll put him at 95 receiving yards now as he's got a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. On play action, it's Rodgers. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. On play action, now Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Bills offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. 
And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. This second and four. The slot man in motion right. And they'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. But forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Allen going to get it quickly out to Coleman. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Play action. Now it's Allen. Finding Shakir across the formation. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A well-executed 22-yard gain. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. The 4-3 defense there did its job, funneled things right to the middle linebacker. If they do a nice job of playing team defense, everyone takes care of their responsibilities. That allows that guy in the middle to do his job, which is search and destroy. Allen now looks to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Motion man is Shakir. Allen from the gun on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. Cook is in. Touchdown, Bills. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Bass on for the extra point. Buddy. 
And they will take a seven-point lead now. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was James Cook capping all of that off with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Jets offense and Brees Hall headed out onto the field. And as you take a look at the numbers, you have to imagine he was the topic of the halftime talk for this defense. We've got to find a way to slow him down. That's probably what they're saying. But nothing that they have done has worked so far. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. They'll go again with Hall. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did. And remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. That one taken in by Corley. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender. Made him what do you think, mean by that? Bro, yeah, bro. he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. On first and 10, it's Hall. 82 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. From just shy of midfield, here's a second and four. Now Rodgers. This complete to Corley. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Straight ahead is Hall. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Here now, second and four. Throw right side, Wilson. Just a gain of a couple there. And now that sets up third and two. Oh, and the hard count might have got him. This might be a first down. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. Here's a first and ten now after they successfully drew them off sides. 
Now it's Rodgers. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and ten coming up. Throwing is Rodgers. Over the middle and complete to Wilson. And he'll get positive yardage there as he'll be touched down. Third and five. And again, it's Rodgers. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So they decline the hold, and that's going to lead to a fourth down. So Rodgers will depart and on is Greg Zerline for the Jets' field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that'll bring him back within four. So give him three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say, we'll take it, but the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. Now Allen. Quick throw that's complete on the inside slam. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Allen. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Here's second and ten. Motion man is Shakir. Allen going to throw. Shakir hauls it in. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Set up down around the 15-yard line. 
Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now Allen. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll be second down. Throwing now is Allen. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the Jets are right back in this football game. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. And this series could very well determine our outcome. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Now look out, Rodgers lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Here's Rodgers. They'll set up the screen for Hall. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. And this is going to be dropped. Oh, my gracious. There was no one in his area code, but he could not hang on to it. Oh, man, late in a tight ball game, every play so critical, you feel like you've got to find a way to come up with that football. That was put in a great spot, but it just didn't want to stick in his hands. That's a big letdown. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And he'll take it just outside the 40. A 45-yard punt, four there on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. So now out comes this offense led by their quarterback as they take over once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards, and that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. The Bills on third down. They've been tough to stop. Eight for ten so far. They're looking at third and a few inches. To the air. Allen. And now another one thrown incomplete. In the early days of the NFL, you could easily blame these drops on maybe some uneven or uncertain lighting in a stadium. 
Not anymore. The lights are pretty good. Yeah, they're great here at night, but his second drop indeed, not a good look. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Allen. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down, and the Jets are going to get the football back. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call, and the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall, first on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop them. I like the confidence he showed. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at the 45. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Now Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. A handoff for Hall. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and five. Ball again. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. 99 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's going on. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. To throw, it's Rodgers. And he'll find Hall. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that will bring up second down. They'll give to Hall. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Now, we all know that an offense coordinator and a quarterback, <laughs> they're aligned at the hip. But when you've got a runner who can get you that kind of yardage, that guy's invaluable. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. To throw is Rodgers. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Mike Williams from 13 yards out. And the Jets have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. 
These guys know each other so well, they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run, and usually the connection is perfect. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. That time, a nine-play drive. And in the end, it was Mike Williams who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The visitors offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And it's been a rough night at the office for him. He's been more of a liability than an asset throughout the contest. And this offense is having a hard time overcoming his struggles to this point. come to the line to start their next drive we certainly have a good one on our hands they're trailing after that last touchdown but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter has his man it's Shakir and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line first down yardage on the first play of the drive 14 yards well this offense hasn't been at their best here they've made some mistakes they've been frustrated They've been largely shut down. But then you look up and say, wait a second. This is a one-score game. So they're still very much in this. And they're on the move here with a first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Allen to throw it. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Looking for James Cook out of the backfield that time. And it's third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And again, it's Allen. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. This offense making its way back out, led by their wide receiver. And he's looking to finish strong. He has been the star of the show as they have just had absolutely no answers for him defensively. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. 
They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Here's Hall again. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now second and five. Hall on to give up the middle. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now Rodgers. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Jets first down. And that should just about do it. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. The Jets with victory seemingly in hand. They take a knee. Rodgers will take a knee here, and that should be all she wrote. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And it was a game where they were off and running in the first quarter, Charles, and never look back. You know, partner, after a while, we always say the same thing, don't we? They set the tone early, right? They started fast. So I asked a few of my horse racing friends, do you have a term for me that we can use to cover that? And they said, yeah. When a horse breaks out like that, you say he caught a flyer out of the gate. And that's exactly what this team did today. I mean, they jumped out there, jumped on them, and were never headed. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gordon. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the J-E-T-S, as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.